One of the larger unknowing camps is nearby. Their lack of organization tends to make it difficult for them to avoid the conflicts between the Guild and the Order. Of course, the unknowing themselves make their own little raids. This results in it being difficult to maintain any sense of pity. Regardless, I'm sure the onslaught was horrendous. People never fight harder than when someone else attempts to uproot their anchor, even if that someone only does so by existing. So it seems like things are getting a lot more interesting. Now, I won't be reading all the notes because, again, um, as you can hear, my voice is still healing up. And I want to be able to start the next visual novel soon. So let's uh, see. Thank you for everyone who's been enjoying this and been giving me some information. Uh, I believe Raven... Is it Dark Raven? Raven Diaries? I am so bad with names. Uh, it's been a huge help. Did not remember. Two doors. One that simply says exit and one that's blank. Does the exit work? Huh? Can't be this easy. We're getting closer, Leviathan. I'm sad to say that our time together might be ending. Well, then we're not going to be doing that one. Although I don't think I can leave through there even if I want. So, is... Dead rat. Are we talk? Is that voice Levi... Are we Leviathan? Leviathan? Is that voice us? I'm still not completely sure. October, 3rd of October. I guess we thought this would be some sort of haven. A light on a hill. We thought we could hide away from what the other dwellers were doing to each other. Although we hated them just as much as they hated us, I guess we thought we were simply right, making us exempt from the conflict. It's all backwards, you know? I mean, I get it. The world fell. Yeah. Everything went to shit. It's just that I think we assumed people would be largely the same after the old world left us. Ah, <sighs> but just listen to me. I sound like a minotaur, speaking in circles about how terrible we all are, with not a friend in the world to comfort me. It's funny how I thought of them as antisocial, insufferable, and worst of all, arrogant. Now I feel as though I see the point in the isolation. I hate that it has to be this way. Let's see, is that down there? Getting some slight slowdown, which is a little odd right now. Whoa, slowdown, what's going on with you? Did you change your settings? No, settings weren't changed. Okay. So it looks like it was... All of our dreams at their core involve some sort of contentment. This is the one desire we all share, but is it a goal that really should be met? After finding contentment, what then? Where is there left to explore? after the last temporary comforts of happiness have been extracted. Okay, that's weird. Alright, hopefully that fixed it. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why it's suddenly acting up. Hmm, maybe a setting got changed that shouldn't have? Stranger and stranger. Let's see. Hopefully my voice is being picked up alright. It should be. Well now. Such a calm, peaceful outside world. I really do love the atmosphere. And we can go that way or that way. I believe it seems like we came from that way, so let's go this way. Um, one of my kind of complaints is that you can't change the setting, like the quality setting on this game, which kind of sucks. of October. Everyone abandoned Jerusalem after we caught word that the guild force was continuing onward past the minor order camp near the subway access point. It's just me now. I have several options in front of me, but only three that really matter at the present. Firstly, I could simply rejoin with my old unknowing group that has now left our Jerusalem. This is particularly unwanted because of our recent disagreement. Second, I could wait here and die when the guild inevitably takes the place. But the third option is what intrigues me. What if I went to the minute what if I went the Minotaur route? It's astonishing to me that I even considering that I'm even considering it. Given their apparent outlook on life. But there's something about the journey itself. There's something about that world. A massive world that can only really be seen by making one's own world small. From what I can tell, you essentially have to deconstruct your entire universe in order for the larger macrocosm to take over. What the freaking wangdle are we even talking about at this point? So confusing. Let's see. I guess we've got no choice but to go this way. Running would be such a terrific thing in this game. I would say if you are interested to pick this Our game up. Our island is plagued with the fruits of a collective mental landscape that defines us as desperately holding on to something correct. So there is no place to hide, without truly secluding, or perhaps risking, the inland. On some level, I feel as though I cannot blame the dwellers. Their zeal for truth is commendable. They're fighting for something, rather than keeping it to themselves. They're acting, instead of hiding. Still, must cruelty be the manifestation of certainty? If only truth did not need to be compatible with itself, if only we didn't need an anchor to be right. If only we could... sail, instead of collecting dust on the memories of voyages past. The 6th of October. Alright, it's time. I've made my decision. The guild will be here in three days' time, and my venture in isolation awaits. It's odd that I never required any sort of dubbing. I remember that the old Minotaurs, the ones who still remember the fallen world, acquired the title after breaking from the council. It's a rather stupid modern mo modernity modernity I, they could they called themselves members of the guild, order, and the unknown, all gathered together to make decisions on who is what before the conflicts even began. All that took was one spark. A single disagreement between people entrenched in their own ideals to initiate an, an infinite turmoil. The guild called it heresy, the elder called it ignorance, and we unknowing sat around screaming about their need to be educated. 
so as to stop the oppression, to think the o ideas weren't even their own. Their ideas came straight from the old city. Yes, I have seen how this works. These green pipes, these charitable structures, they are the root of our enrichment. Well, no longer. I will find the source. So it seems things are getting a lot more interesting. So let's continue on. Now, I'm probably going to slow this down to one chapter per, per episode. Um, really only because uh, I want to save some of my voice. The floodgates. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Let's head on up. There seems to be no writing in there, so there's no reason. The deep. Eyes of God upon us. Just eyes, no perspective. All dead writing. You get to read that yourselves, guys. You can pause the video and look that up. But I'm not going to be doing a whole ton of reading. Hmm, there's got to be another way. a wrong turn. No. I don't believe so. No, I believe we go this way. So it is the mystery that keeps us going. The answers? Who knows if we'll find it. Does the path take us? Uh, a dead end, it seems? Yes. So I suppose we use that door. There we go. I believe this does not end this chapter. Sweet. Minotaur. But Minotaurs were in the maze, I believe, and Midas is... Well, that wasn't Midas, was it? Another door? Another pathway? Hmm. Where are we now? A new area. So it looks like you can take multiple paths in this. There's a pathway there, there's a pathway here. A house? A factory? Strange. Can we get in? Huh. So where are we going now? And is any of this even real? And it looks like with that, we end it. And next time we'll be going to eight behemoth. I'll see you guys then. Bye.